Yes, this is your first time to be in politics, like, uh, office? Uh, yeah, to, to start run, running. I was with the uh, Aban the, 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 the party list. I fielded twice, 2004 and 2007. Just, uh, yeah, for the party visit. Uh, no, uh, we were able to make it the first time. So there was um, a bunch of Pina rep, mm -hmm. uh, Patricia Serena. Then after that, Dumami na kasi, no? Yung oh, party list. Yung party list. And, and so it became very, very competitive, no? Kasi parang you can only go one, di mm -hmm. And so we didn't make it in 2004. I think, no, 2004, nakahabol kami last um, in recounting or something. And then 2007, we didn't make it. So we were short by, two, I, I think, 200 or 23,000 votes. Kunti lang, 23,000 votes. Kaya nga lang, uh, the party list uh, system law, parang hindi rin na palo, no? kasi supposed to be, you should come from the basic sectors right. and really prove that you have a constituency coming from the marginalized sectors. Eh, as we know now, ang daming party list na hindi rin klaro yung, yung if they're really coming from the basic sectors. So, wala naman? Mm -hmm. Wala dito nga pa Oo, wala naman. I read here your name as well, it is gender policy. Mm -hmm. but, but it's just for all Filipinas or particularly for Muslims? Uh -huh. Well, in a sense, uh, as a woman, I, I do uh, I do feel with uh, women all over the world no, mm -hmm. in terms of, of the effects of bias, no, gender biases, prejudices, but more so with uh, minoritized and marginalized communities. Even more. Uh -huh. In addition to the the globe, the universal you know gender issues you know, that women face by virtue of their being a woman and the patriarchal right. the culture that is manifested in in cultures all over the world, there are still uh, cultural contexts um, that makes the gender issue more difficult uh, to women in that particular cultural context compared to other. Cultures, um, so yun, yun yung yun yung pinaka main ano ko like because uh, I'm a moral, so I I I have experience, no, I have a lived experience of that particular cultural context, and to a certain extent, I've also observed indigenous women, no, uh, na, th that also have their own particular cultural context and how they experience na. Uh, status of women and how women are viewed and regarded in that particular culture. So, yeah, um, uh, gender equality uh, in general, but more specifically, the cultural context of moral women. And, and but you could see the difference now when you were growing up. Is there a marked improvement mm -hmm. or still uh, almost the same? There, there is, because uh, I think education and education. yeah, education as 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 communities, women in the communities become have more more access to education. Uh, I think the, the awareness, in a sense, follow, and 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 that particular community becomes also open, because it's also important that the communities where these women are should also be by itself open to other, you know, interacting with other communities. So technology helps a lot, no? and mobility uh, of people, because you get to be exposed to other cultures and other communities. So you when you come, come back, parang uh, the openness to think na, bakit sila ganun? So the more ha communities interact with other communities, and the more they become open, to how other communities, you know, live, no, in their daily life. Um, kasi hindi kasi static yung culture, di ba? Culture is dynamic. And so, culture, uh, people learn from other people, no? And so, therefore, uh, as, as we interact with other groups and other cultures, uh, 
you know, naging influence in a sense yung pananaw natin. And, and one, in, one big uh, example of that is in education. And then, uh, I read in your record, you moved to Manila. Did yeah. that help moving away from your... Uh, yeah, it, it's so sad nga because my moving to Manila was not premised on a uh, a desire for development. Oh, right. It was more of a force because it's a result of a internal conflict. No, um, I am I'm in a sense parang bakwit ako na the local term for an internally displaced person. Then there's guerra, you you flee, no, you flee, and so at that time. Um, there was this conflict no, in, in Marawi uh, because of the martial law. And so the, the city was, part of the city was burned. Uh, soldiers were all over, people were running. Um, so just so unsafe. And uh, so my father decided to move us out of the, of the area. So parang, it was not really a... Um, um, with consent, no? <laughs> it was forced, no. But, uh, so that was the sad thing, no? uh, and and uh, and because of that, we were not prepared also of, of the environment that we'll be entering into. Uh -huh. uh, so, parang uh, we were not prepared for the the bias and the prejudice. Yeah, uh Na yung neighbors mo parang sino naman ito kapit bahay namin. Was this in Manila? Yeah, yeah. And then we went to school and we were the only Muslim students in the school. So we were not, I mean, in a sense, we were not prepared for that kind of. Um, yeah, uh, of that kind of an environment. Siguro kung hindi siya, it did not happen out of the forced evacuation and we were more prepared to, you know, and have decided to move it. Baka the impact of that would not be so traumatic, no? But then kasi nga, we were forced. Yung parang, and it made it more difficult kasi we were fleeing, no? We were already traumatized by the, by the armed conflict. And then we, we, we were forced in a sense forced to be part of a community that is not also so ready. <laughs> so you had no idea yeah, that, yeah. that this was the bias of us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Precisely. Because uh, in Marawi, um, we, we have Christians, no? Chinese, Americans. So we were living, living together harmoniously. Our neighbors, uh, classmates, teachers. So the, 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 you know, the notion of of this intolerance and accepting the othering was foreign was foreign to me. No, because the friends ko are non-Muslims, and so so no, so being lilipat kami parang so okay, it's not a big deal, no. Um, because I don't remember that. Uh, well, the part of uh, a study that was done, it came out to say like. Part is yung education natin, no? the, the social institutions that we have. Yeah, in a sense, media then, no? Because how we report, uh, yeah, like a Muslim hold up or a Muslim this, a Muslim this. Pero pag ang nang hold up ay taga taga ano limba sabi natin taga kabite si Juan. A 43-year-old man, na Juan, ang pangalan, uh, nang hold up, sinaksak niya. You don't mention religion or ethnicity, even ethnicity for that matter. Pero, pag, pero pagdating sa moro, you, you immediately mention, no, na, you don't even mention the ethnicity, you don't even say a kausub or something, basta immediately you go to religion. No? And so, media, yeah, the media uh, play, you know, plays so much part in, in the perpetuation of, of the bias. So that's how it started. But you know, it's amazing how you try to fight it and you, you work towards it, you know, the environment. Mm -hmm. For your own example. Mm -hmm. So uh, what, what have uh, you started since then? Mm -hmm. After high school, mm -hmm. in high school you already started. Mm -hmm. What were your other projects mm -hmm. you initiated? Um, ano eh, part of that uh, 